Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday. Finally made it to the weekend, just about the weekend here. Friday, April 18th, 2025, 11.01 a.m. That's California time here. Latest activity shows a 1.5 into uh, California. By the way, uh, real quick here, the uh, date today is the uh, anniversary of the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake at 5.12 a.m. April 18th, 1906, a 7.9 earthquake struck out there in the San Francisco area, causing, uh, well, you can see on the map here, extreme shaking throughout the area. That was a, a pretty big earthquake. That uh, yeah happened quite a while ago. I don't think we're going to see anything uh, on it in near term, but that's just the uh, the northern section of the San Andreas Fault. San Francisco right now, pretty quiet though. Not a whole lot of activity stirring up there around the Bay Area. Uh, looking at Southern California though, a handful of earthquakes here in the last 24 hours, including a couple ones out here around the Garlock Fault shear zone and the uh, San Andreas Fault, a little interchange section uh, r section right there, um, showing some smaller earthquake activity. Also a handful of earthquakes down in the Julian area. A couple twos this morning. Um, we got uh, at least one 2.5, about 3 o'clock in the morning, and also a 2.2 a few hours later. And a number of aftershocks there in the smaller microquake range. So we got 16 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. So that's going to bring up our total tally to uh, well, about 321 earthquakes here, including the largest magnitude of a 5.2 that struck back there on the 14th of this month. So still seeing some aftershock sequences uh, there along the Elsinore Fault. Areas up north here, a couple smaller earthquakes just off the Elsinore Fault uh, with a 1.7 and a smaller quake there just after 1 o'clock this morning. So things are just... Uh, Kind of uh, just kind of watching things out here. Really no major movement to report there across California area for now. And the seismograph stations out there uh, look pretty quiet. A couple of earthquakes there on Japan Station. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the Pacific Northwest. Uh, really not a whole lot happening up there in the earthquake department either. Wyoming, some movement out around the uh, Teton National Park here. Got uh, some earthquake activity kicking up here east of Jackson, Wyoming. This originally came in as a 4.1 earthquake last night. Looks like it got downgraded to a 3.9. A couple other aftershocks in there as well. That is just off of the, uh, the Teton Fault. To the east, there's a couple other fault systems that run here through the mountains as well. Not showing up on the USGS map. A little bit of earthquake activity around the Yellowstone National Park as well. Let's uh, double check that, make sure we got the most recent data here from the website isthisthingon.org. Kind of gives a neat little simple layout of the Yellowstone seismograph stations there with the Yellowstone caldera, the super volcano there in the black outline, Yellowstone Lake in the blue. There's that 3.9 that struck there last night, and then uh, another 2.9 some hours later. A couple smaller earthquakes there, local to the uh, Yellowstone region, but really no earthquake swarming going on. Just a uh, noticeable uh, magnitude quake there showing up on the seismograph stations there from last night. Rest of the country out here, oil fields rocking and rolling out in Texas, out across the Permian Basin region. Quite a bit, uh, really nothing big to report, although you know this area can see uh, some five-pointers on occasion out here. Right now, just some twos and threes out there in the desert. The rest of the country out there pretty quiet. Some movement out around Puerto Rico. Once again, a 4.6. Well east here, Puerto Rico, along that uh, just off the plate boundary here into the subduction zone near the uh, Barbuda area. 4.6, striking out there within the last hour. Looks like got a little bit of movement underneath Colombia as well. Fairly deep, 93 mile deep, 5.2 uh, early this morning. Take a look here at the Earthquake 3D Globe. Uh, Japan showing some movement out there overnight and this morning. In fact, uh, as I noted here on the seismograph station, they got a, a number of smaller spikes coming into the area. Same with Southern California right now. <clears throat> so it does look like things are starting to uh, get on the move out here. Maybe see some larger earthquake activity. It could be at either section of the Pacific Plate uh, around the west or the east. California is still uh, you know, somewhat active. 
So we've got to watch this area up here around the Nankai Trough, that uh, subduction zone. Right about here is showing, uh, well, it's got some activity north. Uh, but it is putting a strain right here on this major subduction zone. All the recent uh, earthquake activity happening around it. And there's a, a number of earthquakes in there. Some fours and threes. USGS only showing one earthquake. Uh, 5.2 from early this morning. But there's a number a number of quakes happening in that area. Uh, some deeper quake activity around the uh, Izu Trench as well. Well, actually it's going to be the northern Mariana Islands area. 184 miles deep for that 4.4 just a couple hours ago. So keep an eye on this region. Definitely showing uh, some movement here today. Uh, crunching, crunching going on here across the crunch zone. Just see typical earthquake sequence there across the Indonesia Islands area. Really nothing new to report across that region. Uh, around the Fiji Islands area, southward. Got uh, some fours out there. New Zealand seen a couple threes. Nothing big, but uh, we are... Definitely uh, in motion here, it looks like, across the plates. South America area, seeing a handful of fours, even a five-pointer around the Chile area. Quite a bit, uh, a little bit more active here in the last 24 hours compared to the previous day, as far as worldwide activity goes. Uh, Alaska region, some older quake activity up here, but really nothing, uh, nothing new to report across that region of uh, the subduction zone. As far as any new activity around Mount Spur up there in Alaska, still sitting out of yellow, uh, which is an advisory. A handful of earthquakes there. In the last few months, I would say, you know, things are kind of ramping up a little bit, but uh, they've uh, mellowed out here a little bit in the last day or so. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity showing up on that seismograph station there. And the latest update uh, here put out yesterday from the uh, AVO site. Uh, occasional small, shallow volcanic earth earthquakes detected beneath the volcano over the past day. Um, just kind of watching it. Obviously, things will get elevated out here before it turns into an eruption as far as increasing earthquake activity. But right now, uh, that is just not the case. Webcam views are, uh, well, I guess that's spur right here, right? Let's see what we got. 418. Looks cold up there. A lot of snow. Uh, really no signs of any uh, eruption going on. It, hard to tell. Looks like there might be some steam coming up there from the peak area. But uh, again, this will obviously show elevated signs of earthquake activity leading up to an eruption. Space weather activity. Well, we've mellowed back down here almost into the B flare category. Uh, notice the last couple days here, things have uh, uh, mellowed out quite nicely here. Not seeing a whole lot of um, solar flaring going on. Minimal, very minimal sea flare activity. So looking at the sunspots here on the sun right now. Go ahead and check out the latest magnetogram image. Um, not showing us a whole lot here. Uh, there's a number of sunspots here sunspots but there's not a whole lot of complex ones out here on the earth facing side of the sun the only region i'm kind of watching right now is maybe this area right here uh, it's about the only region i can see on the disc visible disc here of uh, producing maybe uh, something stronger than the sea flare as uh, far as the far side watch goes let's go ahead and run over here real quick this was put out now well, it's a day old but uh, still gives us a visual of what may be coming around the bend there's two active areas. You can see them here on this image, but also over here. It's a split image here. These are the same sunspots. Um, should be approaching the eastern limb of the sun very soon. Uh, we should be able to see a, a little bit, uh, maybe a visual of them later tonight on the magnetogram image. Here's that sunspot I said I'd, you know, about the only one I would watch. Uh, so we got a couple coming around the bend there. We'll keep our eyes open uh, for those. But uh, overall flare threat, pretty minimal right now. Um, I got a 1% chance or less for an X flare. These guys shown 10%. Uh, M flare around 50 to 55% chance or so. Uh, no major roars in the forecast there, but uh, you know, interesting event there a day or so ago with that G4 class storm. As far as any uh, close approach asteroids out here, see if anything's going to make us nervous or not. I don't really see anything near term 
Got uh, some big ones out there, but they're fairly safe away from the planet. Uh, this one's just under a million miles there, 86-foot airplane size asteroid. Uh, everything else there is a couple millions of miles away, so that is good news. Seen some big hail reports out there around Nebraska yesterday. Goodness. Let's see what we got for the uh, reports from yesterday. 17 reports of tornado activity around eastern Nebraska into uh, Iowa. Quite a few hail reports as well, 154 of them. That was the main threat there yesterday. Uh, you know, there was obviously some tornado concern. That popped up as well, but the hail... Uh, was the big story out there. Goodness. Uh, far as today reports go, looks like some hail reports being observed up into Wisconsin area. As far as the severe weather forecast today, here's the current day one outlook showing that slight risk for some severe weather there in the yellow. A little tornado threat down across Oklahoma and northern Texas today. Got some wind and uh, yeah, some more hail threats back there across Texas and Oklahoma. So just stay weather aware on this Friday. And things are still looking uh, quite active as we head towards the end of the month with uh, severe weather expected to ramp up there across. It seems like roughly about the 18th, which is today, uh, forward. Look at that uh, from the 25th to the 1st of May. These models have been staying pretty consistent with a uh, strong sign of severe weather returning to the area. Well, it's here, but it uh, looks like it will continue here as we head into the uh, month of May. Not a whole lot here for California. It's supposed to be about 81 degrees today as we put this into motion. There's all that severe weather ramping up across the typical zone there. It's springtime, so that's the typical pattern there for this area. Uh, West Coast, maybe, that's kind of interesting there, Little, maybe a little storm system. Uh, that's going to be for Friday, Saturday morning sometime, I guess. Right around there, it looks like. decent. Uh, that's actually a decent storm for us here in uh, end of April. We normally don't get uh, too much rain here at uh, this time of year. But we'll just kind of watch things, see how it uh, plays out. Either way, the patterns are active. Got to stay weather aware out there uh, around these uh, severe weather locations. Live look at the seismograph stations there. A couple spikes showing up all over the place here on a lot of the graphs. So things are look like they're getting ready to move somewhere. Uh, just got to be on guard and stay safe. Quick glance here at Southern California once again. Uh, uh, it's kind of lighting up a little bit. I had three earthquakes, four earthquakes here within the 10-minute time period. So Southern California still, uh, still got some... Uh, some lighting up going on out there on this Friday. A couple earthquakes around the Brawley Seismic Zone. Keep an eye on the San Andreas Fault. Wouldn't that be crazy if we had a big one out there on the anniversary of the 1906 7.9 earthquake? Crazy. April 18th. A lot of numbers out there. I mean, it's I'm a, I'm a big numbers fan. I, I see it out there in the uh, in the world. All right, I'm out of here. Enjoy your Friday. Please stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on for the Friday night update, unless something happens in between now and then. Have a good one.